So we want to figure out the limit in this case where it heads off to. Um, we can't really do that here because if we put in 7, we get 0 over 0. But what we can do is um, we can break this down. So uh, the square root is the same thing as taking something and raised to the 1 half. So we can break this down into t minus 7, if I can write, minus 7 raised to the second, and then the, the radicals raised to the 1 half. Now we get t minus 7 raised to the 1 half all over t minus 7. So uh, anything raised to the second raised to the 1 half, same thing is just exactly what it is. So this becomes t minus 7, and then we have t minus 7 raised to the 1 half, um, and then we have t minus 7. So these cancel off, and we have the limit as t approaches 7 from the, from the right, and we get t minus 7 raised to the 1 half. So um, if you approach it from the right, that means you're coming in from something just slightly larger than um, 7, and this just ends up being equal to 0. It's a positive value, but it's 0, basically. All right, that's it. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.